It works, y'all. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I decided to make something homemade and yeah, stuff like that. So, it's going to be deodorant. Like, I've seen this a lot and I was like, I think I want to make this. So I was like, I, I went ahead and just tried it. So I was like, yeah, let me just try it. And you're going to need some baking soda. You got that. And some coconut oil. It's melted. I think it's melted. I don't know. And yeah, just like I have like some containers right here. And this one too. But this is the one I'm gonna keep it safe in for me to use, so I decided to just go ahead and use it. this one. Then I'm gonna mix it in. This one? No. I think I might use this one. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. I don't need that much. Yeah. I'm gonna use this one to mix it in with like okay, my spoon. Mix it together, and I got a Ziploc bag to put in here, so then I can just so it can be easier to come out because this type of container it won't be easy for the deodorant to come out and for me to do that because I don't have any empty deodorant containers. But if you have empty deodorant containers, like I know you can find some on Amazon. Or AliExpress and stuff like that. Like, there's stuff out there that you can find empty deodorant containers. But I decided to just use any other container I have around the house. I was going to use our deodorant until it's empty. But it's like, yeah, we still have a lot left. So, I just want to make something creative. Kind of like being creative. So, let's get into the video. So, I came up with this crazy idea. Well, I don't think it's like over the top crazy. But... Like, I've seen people put, like, essential oils in it to make it have a natural or more smell. Like, I've seen lavender essential oil or, you know, like, some other, you know, just oils that will make the endurance smell. Because it's just baking soda and coconut oil. Just boom. Yeah. So, you know, I was looking at this deodorant, but I was like, nah. I need this. But anyway, I was thinking, like, what if I use some of my spray into the mixture and just mix it? And then it turned into like when it turned into a deodorant. I was wondering would that give me the smell effect under my arms? I don't know, but I will try it. And if it works, I'll tell you guys. Okay, so we got this, and this is the Mediterranean Blue Waters, and it smells very good from Bath and Body Works. I actually might want. It. Yeah, it smells so good. It's like. Mm. Okay, so let's get started. So I've seen people put like coconut oil in first, so I'm just gonna start with that. Oh yeah, it is melted. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this. Like we keep this in bag because coconut oil, when, like, I don't know, like when it's in room temperature, like well, our apartment building is like normally so warm and you know, like very warm. And stuff like that. So it's like we don't like yeah, coconut oil is gonna melt in our house, but a lot of people, you know, places are like cool or like coconut oil is like it's supposed to be kept like stored away just so it could stay its form. But then it melts a lot in our place. So yeah, because it's just you know it's gonna melt when it's warm, when it's out there warm and stuff. So I'm just gonna pour that. Okay, I hope that's enough or not too much. Alright, so I got the coconut oil. I don't know if you guys can see that. See if I lower it. Yeah. 
starving. So I got the cocoa bowl. Next, I'm gonna get some bacon soda. I was wondering, like, what if you put bacon powder in it? Like, what would happen with bacon powder? Oops. I'm just gonna wrap like this. So it don't be over the top messy. I don't know how much I need. I didn't see like four recipes for it. I'm just gonna try that. I'm just gonna try this much and just mix it. Cause I've seen people do that. All right, so I'm just gonna mix it. I think I might want to like add more. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Put this in there. I'm just going to pour it like that. So then when I pour it in there, I just... Okay, so what I'm going to do is use this. I can feel coconut oil already. It's like... I'm mixing it. Smell it. I don't want to spray too much. Cause I need that for my body. All right, so I'm just gonna pour this in here. Alright, so I'm just gonna put the top on, even though I don't know if it will. Oh, it actually is going on. That's weird, okay. Well, yeah, it went on. And that's how it looks. I'm just keeping it like this, just so. Now, I've seen people put it in like the freezer so it can harden, so I don't know if I wanna do that. Yeah, I might just put it in the freezer. But like put it somewhere co cool and stuff like that. Like you can set it by your window and coconut will harden up. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it like in the freezer. I think yeah, I'm putting in the freezer. I'm gonna clean it off because it's really oily. And then I'll put it in the freezer and then we'll come back and show how it looks when it's hardened. And I'm gonna try it on camera for you guys. All right. I will be. Well, let me just show you guys. This is how the deodorant looks. I'm just gonna. It smells more like coconut oil. 
but it does smell like that perfume that I use. So I'm gonna try this. Okay. I do see, like, I do feel some, some oilness, but that's not the big points. Huh, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, so I got this. This is the other deodorant that we use. So you gotta see. Compare this deodorant to this deodorant. This is like a natural homemade deodorant. And to be honest, this one smells better. Maybe because it's just coconut oil. Or, yeah. Actually, like how it feels. <laughs> I think I can get used to that. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna wrap that back up. And I I actually like this, so yeah. I don't know how this is gonna stay frozen though, because when I do put it in like I think I might keep this by a window or something. Because right now, and where I live, it's cold outside. So, thanks for watching. And if you guys make your own deodorant using my steps or stuff like that, you can use essential oils. I heard about that, and I've seen it too. And using spray, you might need more spray though. Cause I don't know. I just I did like a couple of sprays, and I still smell like coconut oil. Like coconut oil is powering a lot, but coconut oil isn't bad. So people don't use anything at all. They just have it on that. And you can add tea tree oil and stuff like that. Because, you know, oil is like pretty much good for your skin. And then you put it under, I guess your underarm. And the baking soda will actually help lighten your underarm. So, I'll probably come back with another video. I might. So, I don't know. But I, maybe I should do that. Come back with a weekly video or a monthly video of me using this. To just show how I want, you know. To show my underarms lighting up or not. And yeah. And how I like it. I actually like using it. Especially like if it, you keep it cool. It feels very good. Especially like. You know if you use it in the summer. Then yeah that would feel very great on your arms. So. But then it feels great actually. So thanks for watching. And please comment if you guys. Made home with deodorant. And tell me how your experience was. And. Peace.